In the previous video, we saw the uh, content of the asset that we're going to work on, and uh, we became acquainted with all the groups that are found inside the scene. Uh, so we're ready to begin uh, rigging our Adonis um, muscle system. So uh, we will start with the uh, Brachialis muscle. Uh, let me hide all the other muscles so that I'm making my scene um, easy to visualize and navigate. And let me activate the joints. Uh, it is good to have joints x-rayed. So this will make our uh, scene uh, easy to work with. Now, um, I want to keep track of, so I want to work with the brachialis. The brachialis is mainly involved in the action of flexing the uh, arm. Um, so I will need to create a locator from this utility joint to this utility joint to keep track of that um, action. Okay, so as the distance between these two joints um, uh, gets smaller, the arm uh, will be more and more uh, active. The flexing of the arm will activate and it should also activate the brachialis muscle. So I select these two utility joints and I come here and I create a locator. Cool. First of all, uh, let's rename this locator as L underscore um, arm underscore flex. So we know that it's the left arm and is the sensor for the flexing of the, uh, of the arm. Uh, let's also uh, increase the scale here to three, just to make it more visible. And now we can see that the locator is following the action. However, it's still not really giving us any uh, data about the activation of the muscle itself. So let's select the locator and let's create a sensor. Now that we have a sensor, uh, we can see that, that the color of the sensor, the locator is changing a little bit, but just not really enough to make, uh, to be usable. So let's begin by renaming this again, arm underscore uh, flex. And then we need to go to the remap distance node inside the, uh, the sensor hierarchy. And we have to uh, check this number here, 35.314. This will be our minimum associated, which will give us an output of zero, while our maximum is going to be here. So we need 27.2, okay? So our input max will be 27.2. Dot two. Nice. So now our sensor is behaving as uh, we need it to. Okay. Um, obviously, we can work with the curves uh, to, um, to change the behavior of the activation as we may need on our character. But overall, just a linear behavior should be fine. Cool. Great. So we have this. And now we're ready to jump into actually creating the brachialis muscle and connect it to the sensor. 